Azo si sa fe la man la Azo si Azo si sa fe la man la Azo si sa fe la man la Azo si sa fe la man la Azo si Azo si sa fe la man la Azo si sa fe la man la Mbambane Champions of Eswatini Premier League It's not easy, football is not easy For these guys to even make it to the second round of the Cup Champions League It's something to to boast about In fact, I'm that advocate I cannot wait for the time that we'll have a Cup Champions League group stage that will have 32 teams, 16 teams is not enough. Four groups, it is not enough. A, B, C, D, it is not enough. We have African teams that play football. Ah, but then, it's a discussion for another day. Remember Lord Sundowns. You guys did extremely good. We saw how the game started so, so early. Come on. The Eswatini guys had already brought down um a sundown player and we had the main guy i think he, he will just be the man of the season for for this great club i'm talking about ribeiro who came in to slot in that pk and it was one zero and everybody celebrated it's almost <laughs> you will not understand sundown is a team that had a very good i will use the word a very good um precision but then we saw what happened uh, with the Agafa. As the game progressed into the second half, we saw the brilliance of Lungu. That's the, the, the defender who scored in that the goal from a, a set piece that was badly defended by the goalkeeper. And it, he made it. As if that was not enough, we saw the brilliance of a gram. I'm talking about no other person than the former Stellenbosch player, Igram Reynas. And he's not just an ordinary player out there, somebody that had the second highest goal scored by an individual in the PSL. He came in and, come on, he has started showing great signs that he will be um, a name to reckon when it comes to the colors of yellow when it comes to the colors of the brazilians when it comes to the memory sundown this guy came in and scored a beautiful goal and we also saw him returning the favor mind you it was a an assist from ribeiro and he got ribeiro assisted more like thanks for giving me that great pass and ribeiro buried it in and it was four zero at the end of the day Swallows in Bembani swallows swallowed four zero. And guess what? What does that mean? It means that the return leg, and mind you, the return leg is coming in the same on the same ground. I'm talking about the Moribe Stadium in South Africa. And mind you, Eswatini guys they don't have a, an approved stadium by CAF, so they will be playing their away game in the home of South Africa, and that is the Moribe Stadium. Now the unique thing about today's victory for Sundown is that this is their 10th consecutive run in the group stage. Okay? Yeah, one will say, okay, they've made it to the group stage, but then we also know that in football, you just have to wait to the final. Um, but then you just wonder, how can these guys win Sundowns for by five goes to zero. Well, it has happened in life. We have the history of a, a turnaround, but then ah, nothing is impossible, man. But then the possibility of this is in is highly negligible when it comes to ah, but anything can happen. Well, at the end of the day, uh, we had a very good uh, game out there. Um, Sundowns made their countrymen, made their club, their their, their fans feel so good and then um, this is a uh, um uh, 
this shows more expectations for this club. This shows that uh, Sundown, yes, they are having um, um, backroom staff issues. They're having uh, management issues. But that does not mean that this club is not a great club. That does not mean that this club will not represent Africa well. That is Sundown, the spirit of Sundown. So, guys, thank you for watching through. And a shout out to everybody out there. Um, I took a trip and I'll be, I hope to be back to Port Harcourt. I'm in Abuja, um, doing the lost work. Okay. Um, so, but then I hope to be, um, back with Domino, my guy. And we will always bring you guys that football entertainment. Okay. So thanks for watching. God bless you all.